Everyone, welcome back to our show. Now we're marking to our second talk show of the day. It's a very inspiring one. Yeah. Where we know that kids love to learn many things, including from books. Yeah. Because books are important for kids as they help kids develop basic language skills and early literacy skills. Yes, that's important. And today's modern era, the rapid development of technology has led many children to prefer using their... Yes. Mm -hmm. Gadget <laughs> to find and learn anything they love, including reading a book. Uh, but unfortunately, access to digital literacy for kids in Nisha is still limited, far from equal. Of course, yeah. and an inspiring role model and her team and created a platform mm -hmm. called Peebo, mm -hmm. or Picture Book, that aims to accommodate kids' education and reading needs by publishing many books with digital library and entertainment needs. Yes, and it's not just that, yes. Carol. So Peebo itself, it started uh, here in Indonesia, and then uh, they started as a publisher, and they already uh, published more than 60 uh, books, wow. and they collaborated with collaborating with 44 another the publisher not only here in Indonesia but also in UK, China, Singapore more than uh, more than 700,000 books wow. they're already published now we are going to learn more about this we have the co-founder of Peebo herself Aisha Habir hi Ma. good morning, good morning. I love the name Peebo by the way short for yeah. picture book yes I love that <laughs> It's okay, it's cheap, right? Yeah, it is very Yes. <laughs> All right, before we, uh, be, before we start and we get to know more about mm -hmm. uh, the platform, um, let us start with what do you think about the access to literacy for children here in Nisha? Because we know the number is very low, mm -hmm. but hopefully it's, get, it's more uh, higher now. I don't know. <laughs> Probably you bring us some good news. <laughs> um, it's still, uh, I would say, still quite limited. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when we say, um, I think we have, if you compare it with the population of children in Indonesia, yeah. which is about 60 million, by the yes. way, uh, last year. Uh, that's why if you compare it with that big number, it still feels that it's far from ideal. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, each year, uh, there is about 30,000 titles of books uh, released every year and we only have about 313 bookstores uh, available countrywide. So dis the disparity you can uh, I mean, uh, compare 30,000 to 300 um, and uh, UNICEF is actually um, advising uh, every person to read at least three books per year. Yeah. So yeah. the number really doesn't add up. Um, and also there's a study uh, that uh, happened recently by the International Journal of um, Language Study mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, literacy scale and also good uh, quality books in Indonesia elementary school yeah. uh, that uh, study uh, showing the data that 30% of uh, our children in the elementary school still have low reading comprehension skills, oh. which um, that tells us uh, has that direct correlation with access to good quality uh, content in yes. children's books. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm guilty as charged also here, um, Aisha and also Shafira. Yeah. I like to buy books. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it, especially coming up to New Year, what books can motivate me and yeah. whatnot. And then just buying that, and then I procrastinate of reading it, right? Oh. It's usually like one good book, I would take me like a week to be done, but then you have things going on and whatnot. Of if course. we're doing that as a parent, yet alone to our children, of if they're not seeing yes. the parents or reading yes. books and whatnot. And I think, you know, all parents are also guilty buying books for the children, but not taking their time to sit down with their children and kind of navigate and kind of share the stories throughout the book. We think that, oh, it's a picture book. You just enjoy it with, the, you know, you yourself. Enjoy that time for me time. But when children need to kind of be guided, especially when right. reading books. Yeah. Now, according, especially with people, we want to know the behind a story of people itself. What prompted people? Because we know that you're a publisher before. Now you're more into digital. Is it because of the pandemic and you see this medium, you know, the digital, that yeah, we cannot live without it now anymore, mm -hmm. whether it's adults or children. And you see this is the, uh, the, the time for it. It's yeah. the, you know, the time for us to do this. Yes. Um, 
as you mentioned, we started off as being an indie publisher, um, with especially just for children's books. Okay. Uh, but we uh, quickly learned uh, that uh, the logistics and infrastructure in Indonesia is also limiting in terms of that access. Yes. Uh, because when we uh, say someone uh, buy our books from outside of Java, for example, uh, the um, the, uh, the price that you pay for sending the book out yeah. is actually more expensive yeah. than the actual yeah, price awesome. of the book. Exactly. Um, so we learned that earlier mm -hmm. on actually even before the pandemic. So mm -hmm. we see uh, how uh, we need you know, better access and we, we see uh, of course the um, the development of uh, the internet expansion oh, and yeah. we see the uh, mobile penetration in Indonesia is actually one of the highest in Asia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and um, of course, uh, also seeing uh, on the contrary to the data that we uh, talked before about the access, um, actually children's uh, book category is actually um, either the number one or two uh, top selling categories oh, in, in the publishing industry oh, in Indonesia. Okay. So we see that there is a demand yes, uh, and, and um, parents understand that, you know, uh, children's books are important yes, uh, yes, for yes. them. And so there there is a hunger, uh, but they need to find, um, you know, a channel yes. uh, that is, um, is suitable. Yeah. Um, so we see that um, as I think uh, we find out as well that because of the pandemic, uh, of course, the um, uh, the use of device and uh, internet mm -hmm. and gadget is, is of course, um, you know, uh, increases. Yeah. And uh, I think last year, if uh, the data that we uh, got is correct, is two and a half uh, hours per day mm -hmm. uh, that children in Indonesia would oh be online. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and but we understand that parents, uh, you know, in that two and a half hours, wouldn't be great if they would spend it on books. Yes. Or any other educational, yes. you know, entertainment uh, yes. for the kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, because in the future as well, uh, hopefully going forward, uh, we not only going to offer books but also videos and oh. uh, other formats. Uh, yeah. That is hopefully um, what we wanted is still have the edutainment value yes. uh, that we always um, uh, are very close to. Yes, yes. very attractive to, to the children. The children's needs. Yes. And also the parents, they can watch it together. Yeah. Of course. Together. So yes. basically they can tell, like you yeah. said, to yeah. guide the children to understand the context of the uh, Of course, box. it's important. definitely a very potential for bonding yes. uh, between the parents exactly. and the children. It's not just detached yeah. because that's what we see yes. right now yes. nowadays with children and gadgets and, and just in a way they're a second nanny. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, we become, uh, we are in a digital era now. Correct. Well, yes. we cannot avoid it. Yeah. Of course, we live in the digital era. Everything is, uh, you know, uh, connected with our gadget device and everything. So, um, there's a pro and cons. There's mm -hmm. a positive yes. and negative side. Of, of course. course. What is the biggest challenge that you've found so far in providing digital content for children? Yes. Um, I think, but we we need to understand that. Um, these children uh, is the, if we're talking about 10, 20 years from now, they are the leaders of our country. Yeah. So we need to prepare them for that future, mm -hmm. not today. Not the yeah. present day, uh, So that digital literacy is also, uh, we can see that as important mm -hmm. because then if we talk about the future, yes. then it, it all kind of correlates, mm -hmm. of course, if you think about 10, 20 years from now. Yeah. Now, the challenges with that is, of course, that content that we give out for children. We want them, of course, to our, you know, to nurture their potential mm -hmm. optimally. Yeah. So um, we want, uh, of course, uh, having a consistent uh, building, um, sorry, we, we want to build our content platform mm -hmm. uh, uh, consistently, mm -hmm. uh, always adding mm -hmm. uh, a good quality children's yes. content. Mm -hmm. um, and 
when we uh, talk about a user experience, uh, let's say we take uh, the uh, J.K. Rowling's quote uh, that said, uh, you, "There's uh, if you don't like to read, uh, you haven't write, you haven't find the right book." Mm -hmm. So we design the user experience to focus on the discovery journey okay. to for the each child to find the right book for herself oh. or, or himself yeah. because um, when they find the book that they're interested in yes. they enjoy yeah. they can relate to uh, of course then they would help uh, to nurture that joy of reading. Yeah. Uh, even the uh, Kamendik Butristak, our Ministry of Education, Research and Technology has already um, you know, encouraged more and more about reading for pleasure. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> of course, oh, so you know, that, that experience yeah. of yes. reading needs to be fun. Of it course. needs to be, yeah. you know... Stimulating. Stimulating, yes. yes, of course, and that's why that also, uh, communication between yeah. the parents yeah, and, the, and the children sure. with uh, the books yeah. uh, are very important. Yeah. So that's why uh, we we want it to be, um, you know, how uh, the the children to really discover mm, themselves. Oh. Yes, because books is very personal, I think. And yes. even though you know an author could write a book, that will yeah. be written. You know, it could be read by a lot of people yeah. from different backgrounds and personalities yeah. and characters. Um, the essence will be impacted very differently to each person. Yes, right? yes, yes. So it's yes. good that you're trying to given or guiding these kids to have this kind of journey yeah. for them to experience the self. We are creating our imagination. Yes, right? and that's yeah. what I love about yeah. books. Exactly. And then sometimes when their book became yeah. a movie, you take away yes. you know, the imagination. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, yeah. back to Pivot. Well, let's. Uh, oh, can you take us through? The process. Let's say uh, a, a child or a student or a parent with their kids go to your platform. What is the process? Like, you know, do we just go in? Is mm -hmm. there any subscription that we need to do and whatnot? How many books are available? Or is there any languages, you know, books within the other languages other than Bahasa Indonesia? Take us through, Baisha. Okay, so. Um Yes, we can. You can just um, go to your browser because it is Pebo is a web-based platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just use any browser in your device mm -hmm. uh, and just type in batapebo.com, and you just go in there uh, and sign up for free mm -hmm. uh, for a freemium account. And there are actually uh, free contents collection that is uh, available for you to read right away mm -hmm. and uh, the whole collection of 750 uh, titles are uh, wow. actually even with freemium uh, membership you can actually uh, read until you know open until the first eight pages so you can just have a peek yeah oh, wow. i love that the preview the, yes yeah. <laughs> the books are the oh okay well this is interesting yeah. and uh, like that uh, but of course with just uh, eighty thousand rupiah uh, subscription mm. Uh, a month, you can enjoy the whole collection and the whole uh, fun experience in people because awesome. not just reading, there's also gamification as well that yeah. we instill yeah. into uh, the platform to make sure that, that again, the experience yeah. in yeah. is yeah. Uh, Fun and it enjoyable. starts from there, yeah. yes. at least. I yes. wouldn't mind my sons to be two and a half hours. <laughs> like, people, like, I wouldn't mind because exactly. it's very productive. Yeah, right? probably from the digital book that yes. he can turn to be a, like a real book. Yeah. yeah. And also, um, we heard before that you were saying that there are some entertainment or attractive uh, kind of medium that you're trying to program also. And training educators or teachers, what is that about? Uh, yes, uh, of course, as um, of this endeavor about children literacy in, in Indonesia is, is huge. Definitely is uh, something that cannot be overcome with just one or two parties, of course, but many. Yes. <clears throat> so, and uh, in that change, uh, we see uh, teachers as a very important uh, agent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and therefore um, empowering teachers in uh, literacy development mm -hmm. is something that we do regularly mm -hmm. either independently or in collaboration with others mm -hmm. um, and uh, of course we want uh, the actually we designed the platform as well 
uh, to be a tool for teachers as yes. well as parents actually uh, to help them um, utilize children's books uh, in a more meaningful and collaborative way yeah. uh, in classroom as well as at home of because course. now we understand that learning uh, happens beyond classroom yeah, yeah. Right. and sure. the collaboration between parents and teachers is also very important. Yep. Yes. Um, one of the um, favorite features uh, are actually the monitoring of reading behaviors yes. uh, uh, in, uh, in the platform because it's you know because it's data driven you can just check uh, in the platform whether the child has, you know, what has uh, they read, whether they finish reading it or mm -hmm. not. You can actually oh, yeah. uh, see it. Yeah, I can track it on the app. Yeah. 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 Is there like a question at the end of the... Because I'm sorry, for two years and a half, I've been sitting in the middle between my two sons and then the <laughs> teachers. There is also a platform, but I don't think this is uh, Indonesian based. Yeah. So the teacher told us to go to this website and there are some grades of books uh, from mm -hmm. each grade uh, in the different kind of uh, book collection and whatnot. And they have to read it and they have to kind of read the book so oh, there's an audio, they have to read the book. Yeah. And then some questions to know if they understand the oh, meaning okay. of the book or yeah, the story yeah, yeah, of the book, yeah. which I think is very excellent. Yeah. It's just I'm very, um, you know, at that time I felt like, why isn't there in Basa Indonesia also? Yeah. Right? It's always, everything is always in English. And it's good now, There's we have yes. people yes. that is now sitting in Basa Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah. Because th that's why we're actually uh, focusing on, in, in the content, yeah. uh, especially in Bahasa Indonesia mm. children's books, because we find that, that uh, there is actually the you know where the gap is yeah. right. uh, because if we're talking about uh, English children's books you know you have uh, other available yes of course. Uh, where in Indonesia uh, we actually need that yes. uh, at the moment so most definitely yeah yeah wow now we have it here uh, with people so basically people uh, have so many activities uh, digital literacy training for teachers uh, for school as well and family as well so um, and also held a literacy road show uh, titled Dongeng Rabu Kamagacha Ah, yes. Ah, oh. Tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Kamagacha is actually a um, an event, an, an annual event that is, uh, you know, uh, organized by one of the elementary school mm. in Bandung. It's called Gagas Ceria. Mm. Uh, we have collaborated with them uh, in the past as well. Uh, and they've invited us uh, there to do storytelling uh, with our digital books. Uh, okay. And then uh, we had, because in our platform, uh, there's also uh, worksheets uh, called Lembar Bermain that you can download for free so that uh, after reading the books, you can actually have the follow-up activities that's already oh, okay. done there. There are some questions and kind of probe questions that yeah. you can ask, you can use that. Uh, there's also, you know, uh, a lot of games yeah, that you yeah. can do that, of course, that would, uh, as you mentioned as well, Caroline, how, you know, they can test whether you can actually, about the comprehension, whether they understand yeah. or not, because all the answers to that is actually uh, in the book itself. Yeah. So perhaps they can all go back to right. the book the to book, actually yes. oh, okay. uh, read. So during that event, uh, we did a uh, storytelling session, read aloud together oh, with fine. 200 children uh, from that school. And after that, we do the um, uh, worksheets together. And it oh. was so fun. Oh, so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you do it with your friends, exactly. right? <laughs> Like yeah. <laughs> yes, and together with the teachers as well, and so yeah. they understand. I was like, and they they had a um, you know we exchange inspiration as well mm -hmm. of yeah. you know uh, the uh, activities to do after reading oh, wow. uh, because that's also very very important. Not just the reading activity, but the afterwards, after right? Exactly. right. Uh, what you take out of it, as you mentioned, you know, the imagination yeah. and all that actually yeah, happens exactly. during the discussion, which yeah. is much more of exciting. Course. So we can have a story yes. when yeah. we are adult, when we yeah. are grow up. So basically, we we are we are evolving as uh, uh, the character that we created when when we are a child. Of course, yes, yes it's exactly. always in our. And it's over our head, right? Yeah. It's limitless. limitless. True, right? that's why we hope that, you know, as uh, 
people as a tool can in a way help uh, you know this transcends the magic of yes. children's books with those characters and stories yes. to yes. children yes. through teachers and parents. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. that wow. is, you know, our dream. Oh, yeah. 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 dreams about the yes. methods, about the imagination. How about uh, the Baisha Shaws or tell us the book recommendations? Yes. Ah, ah, that's important. Okay. Um, I have three book recommendations. Uh, today that I could share. Uh, one is called Hatta Sukadurian. Ah, okay. uh, it's it's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so Hatta is actually Harimau Sumatra. Oh, oh so it is very culturally, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, relevant. Uh, so this is actually the uh, number one favorite book. Really, right. uh, popular, the most popular uh, title in our platform. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's why uh, I recommend this book uh, very much. Uh, and then uh, the second one is uh, Gadis Kecil Yang Tidak Berambut. Oh, okay. uh, this is a very touching book, oh. uh, actually. And we just recently, uh, last year, had a, uh, a competition, actually, uh, children's uh, book competition, and this is the winner. Oh. actually of that competition yes. uh, and it has a in a way would I say it a plot twist at the end or something in a way unexpected ending mm -hmm. oh. um, so it's very touching so something that uh, it's a sad book isn't it? uh, it's it's not uh, it is about um, perhaps you know being um, having through a sickness oh, okay. however Oh. It is very much, um, you know, Sorry. evolved in a point of view that is very positive. Okay, yeah. that's nice. Which is yeah. amazing. And it's how... great to teach children how to be empathy or to yes. give empathy to other people. Yes, uh, I think books are important medium as well yeah. that you can use to discuss with children perhaps difficult topics yeah correct sure uh, i agree that are not so easy just agree. to yeah. you know, mention and yes. the third one which i'm sure everybody would love this is one of the new releases <laughs> uh, that is called Siapa yang kentut? So who farted? <laughs> right. So this is one of the new favorite uh, oh as well. Oh my god! Okay. So cute. Uh, 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 really. So Hatta Sukadirian uh, is written by Andini Kusama Wardani with uh, Chika Tania. Uh, Gadis uh, kecil yang tak berambut uh, is by Herviana. Siapa yang kentut is by Nur Hadi. And oh. I, you were also you just mentioned about the illustration. I love this because love it, it seems for especially uh, yeah. pic, uh, book pictures. They need to have good illustration. Yes. Yeah. Indonesia is in line now with international yes, illustrators definitely, and also definitely. you know authors and whatnot. It's very catchy. I would yeah. I mean my children would love this. Yeah. It's really nice illustration yeah, also. Of course. So you publish this book? Uh, the first two, yes. The one that has Spiegel uh, in it, yeah. it's published by you? Yep, and okay. the third one uh, here is uh, on a, diff a different local publishers. Right. Uh, so basically in Pibo, we are a, uh, you know, a room for all, we, we welcome all uh, content creators oh, and publishers. That's, nice. um, that's what we feel that Again, you know, we need to move together. Yes, uh, of, course, uh, of course, that collaboration. Yeah. We're, we're very open for uh, collaboration, either That's in cool. content yeah. or in, um, you know, digital literacy development. Yeah. Um, yeah. We we very much would like to uh, encourage actually local publishers and content creators wow. to, you know. Uh, Produce even yeah, more. create more and quality. collaborate, of course. Yes. Wow. Oh. And oh, the dreams about the uh, you know, of course. Touristy, well, same well, vision and mission, right? Positive. We're in the exactly. same boat, anyways. Um, we're. I mean, we wish that we have more time with you, Baisha, but we are, you know, running out of time. But hopefully, that you're going to join us again right Thank here. Thank you. Right? Yes. Yeah. But it's before amazing. that, just a uh, you know, a very short. Uh, we want to know what's going to be the future for people. What's your upcoming projects after this? 
Um, we, uh, we feel that um, I think uh, a good product is more, the, you know, more effective than any marketing strategy. Yeah. So we are uh, very focusing in um, you know, having an optimum user experience yes. and uh, just you know, honing down on our product and making it better. <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, hopefully we can expand to, as I mentioned, uh, different types of um, formats for children. Yes. Uh, but then again, uh, we also have a um, event uh, called Pibo Literaton mm -hmm. every year, uh, where we, uh, where creators and users of children's books can have dialogue. Uh, so hopefully that could be something that we continue mm -hmm. uh, and of course uh, all of that is for uh, a better quality children's content wow. uh, in Indonesia. That's amazing. Right. That's yes. Amazing. We need to support that. Definitely. Yeah. So for parents, teachers, educators and also children out there, yeah. you just go to bachapibo.com mm -hmm. of course to have an adventure of yeah. digital literacy and you know having that mutual bonding together. Thank you very much, Baisha, for your Thank time. You so Thank you so much. Cannot wait to have you again here. With us here. Yes, for the latest hey. updates. And we're going to take a short break right now. Again, that is budgetpeople.com. I cannot wait to read with my kids. Yeah. Uh, who farted or who <laughs> blew the gas? I don't know. It's very intriguing. <laughs> don't forget to follow our social medias if you haven't already. Again, we're on Instagram, Twitter, and also YouTube at CDNA News for the latest updates. We'll be back with many more after this.